Hi Sanjana, so I'm doing a small video for you. When we draw portrait, drawing has to be, you know, drawing plays the major, major role when we work for the realistic object, whether it's a face, for body, life, whatever. So I feel that the head drawing is good, like the head is good. Now when you divide head into three equal portions, you get the get the eyebrows, the no bottom of the nose and the chin and the eye is the half of the entire head so which is also good. Now what happened is let's let's look at the nostrils right so majority in majority cases the nostril touch touches the tear duct so the line coming from the tear duct will like this is the box for the nose so I feel that the nostril will come somewhere here just check with the drawing for the lips it's it's mostly the eye line right so this is the relation that we are looking for where does the uh, end of the lips is are where uh, where does the nostril end so compared in comparison to the eye, I feel that the nose and the lips are a bit short. Your understanding of light and shadow is good, but still, I think there are some shadow shapes which are missing. Let's let's look at those shadow shapes. Okay, so <clears throat> fine. So here we have the image. Now let's look at the shadow shape. So there is a strong shadow shape which is coming from the eyebrow cropping the eye. Right? So same, you need to mark a similar shape here and then block it like you have blocked the ears or the shadow shape on the shirt. The shirt, you have done a good job. For the eye, same, you can see there is a very strong shadow shape being formed. Right? So same you need to form here and then block it. Same goes for the forehead. See there is this strong shape. So you need to mark the shape and then block it. Right. So for now we don't want gradation like this. We are just looking for empty sheet and the darkest dark areas right you can definitely work on the values of these darkest dark but all the dark shapes must be blocked here okay